Hi, I'm Jessica Patterson of Spinning Shadows Fiber Arts and welcome to another episode, finally, of Spindle Talk. And today we're going to be talking about one of the more unique looking spindles and one that when I saw it, I thought this could not possibly spin. This is the Basque Spindle. As you can see, it's got this shaft here with sort of a bird's head on it and a removable bobbin shaped whorl. That's very interesting. Um, I've seen very few of these. There is only one shop online that I've seen that makes this kind of spindle. Um, and that is the Muddy Duck Workshop on um, Etsy. I'll leave a link in the description. And the Dancing Goats makes a type of this spindle, but it's actually rather large. So this is the only one I've seen that is a uh, drop spindle of this kind. And uh, anyway, as you can see, it's, you know, the shaft is removable so that the uh, spun yarn or plied yarn can be wound straight off. And uh, now I'll show you how it spins. And for that, I have this beautiful purple and green fiber. Now with this spindle, thing I love about it is it's, it's because of its size, I found that it's really easy just to stick in a pocket. And, uh, which I usually do in my apron so it doesn't get squashed. And, um, it's, you can make a, a variety of yarn with it. If you try to make um, really fine yarn with it, it's, um, you have to be careful. The weight of the spindle will pull it down. So, but I have made some um, that was basically like sewing thread. Um, but it's really good for a sock weight to fingering weight yarn. Just hang on as I get started. I usually drop my spindles as I start them, so I'm going to try to avoid that on screen. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> but as you can see, I've hooked the little bird's beak here through a loop of fiber, and I'm just building up twist to create that leader. And once I've created enough of a leader, doesn't take much, I'll, uh, get on to the actual spinning. Here we go. We'll slide it down, loop it around, and the wonderful thing about it is it just hooks right there. So don't have to worry about a half hitch or anything. Let's see. Now, like a, um, what is it, a Turkish spindle? It's not the fastest spinning spindle but it will spin for a long time. Just let it spin there. Draft out a little more. You can see the weight of this, of the uh, whorl of the bobbin being centralized out here that just keeps the momentum going for a while. And when it's reached a good length. I like to go around, let's see if I can, just sort of like to crisscross on one side. And then when that's getting a little full, I'll crisscross on the other side. Wind it around and back up and lose my fiber supply. As you can see, I'm sort of making a uh, sock weight, maybe, fingering sock weight yarn that'll be good for either chain plying or Andean plying, whichever. Two ply, three ply, whatever. And there's it applied back on itself. 
it's rather poofy yarn. But, um, yeah, this is, there goes my supply again. This is a unique spindle design. I have not seen many like it. Actually, I haven't seen, before I saw this on a group on Facebook, I had never seen a spindle like this. And I was very doubtful as to how good it was for a spindle. But I found this is one of my favorite travel spindles because of its size and how easy it is to wind the yarn off of it. And uh, yeah, I'll leave a link in the description. Try not to drop it. And um, yeah, tell me what you think. Are you glad to see another spindle top video? Next one, we should be covering the Sammy spindle, which is also very cool. And uh, others in my collection, which I haven't done before. Um, so tell me what you think. Uh, hit like, subscribe, and look forward to more. As always, have a great day.